right on. Go to many concert parking lots these days and you'll find a drug of choice <laughs> that's not really a drug at all. <laughs> but it is just as dangerous. It's laughing gas. <laughs> And it's no laughing matter. The sale of recreational nitrous oxide has become big money. Nitrous. <laughs> A lot of people really love nitrous oxide. We went to five concerts in three cities where we witnessed the black market balloon business booming. In Chicago. In Washington. And at Philly's Man Music and Wells Fargo Centers, we saw a loosely organized group of nitrous dealers roaming concert parking lots. Police say much like a group that travels to music festivals up and down the East Coast. Some have even labeled them the Nitrous Mafia. And where do you find them? Just listen for the sound of gas. And literally within three minutes of getting to the parking lot of the Wells Fargo Center, we heard that familiar sound of nitrous oxide tanks going off. They call him here the gas man, selling balloons filled with laughing gas, three for 20 bucks. In every parking lot, we found the same thing. Men and women, young and old. It's Helium. harmless but fun. <laughs> Huffing party balloons filled with gas, getting a quick and intense high. Is this part of the culture? Well, it's nitrous. Well, this is hippie crack, they call it. I mean, hippie, that's, hippie crack. Is, what does it do? Makes you laugh. Our cameras followed a nitrous operation for three days outside a Grateful Dead concert in Chicago. It all starts with the popping of a couple balloons to attract customer attention. And it worked. Within seconds, customers can't get their money out fast enough. The crowd blossoms to dozens, all rushing to buy their balloons. And when the crowd gets too big, the operation shuts down. As we see this guy hauling off a nitrous tank in a warming bag and it's on to the next block. Three for 20, guys. I'm doing my best. That's exactly where we found the same guys not five minutes later and their customers waiting right there for them. <laughs> <laughs> like, why do they call it hippie crack? I guess, I guess you kind of want to get back to that feeling that, uh, that you get <laughs> when you're like really high on, on nitrous. Sometimes like brings you back to a certain place where it's like, oh yeah, this is why I like it. It's so dangerous. Center City dentist Alan Atlas uses nitrous oxide to relax his patients. It goes right on their nose in this fashion. We'll have them breathe in. But he says inhaling so much so fast starves the brain of oxygen, killing brain cells that could lead to seizures or sudden death. You can die from it. I mean, that's how severe it is. It's a very serious situation. Evesham Township Police recently put a dent in one nitrous operation. Two New York men were busted on a road trip to a concert in Philly with a thousand party balloons and 12 large tanks of nitrous oxide in their car. Their intentions were to take these tanks and the balloons and uh, sell what you would say on the street, the whippets in the parking lot that night. Back at the sports complex, we watched for two hours as customers lined up at the trunk of one car to buy balloon after balloon from these two guys. But when we started asking questions, Yo, man, yo, delete that shit, brother. The balloon man told us to take a hike. <laughs> Selling nitrous oxide for recreational use is illegal, and we did see Philadelphia police trying to crack down on nitrous dealers, but as soon as the cop passes, the gas was flowing, and the party started once again, leaving behind a parking lot filled with empty balloons, and some wondering, is it really worth it? It scares the living daylight out of me, actually. I think of, what if my own children were doing something like that? O'Connell, Fox 29 News.